at that warehouse at 09 like a spun coming. Dad, is anyone coming for a short day and there's no one there? These days, I could probably pack for like 20. Hey, y'all. So, it is Saturday, October 1st, and I'm going to be doing Vlogtober. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm be doing Blocktober. Got some very important months coming up. Um, we're gonna make it do what they do. I'm loving the fro, y'all. I'm loving the fro. I'm loving the fro. Loving the fro. So as y'all saw, I made a little lunch break, a little lunch snack, cause it is now it's 12:40. So yeah, I know they're like, why she didn't put it in a bowl? Cause it's already in a bowl. Yeah. It's already in the ball. So, what's been going on with you guys? I hope everybody's doing good. Y'all, I really think that I have um, carpal tunnel. Really sucks. Really, really sucks. So, I'm actually going to be in the process of hooking up this wireless mouse to my laptop. When I have my nails, I did another set of nails to y'all. When I have my nails, I can't use my actual fingertip for the mouse pad so I've been using my knuckle and one of the times that I used my knuckle it was crazy it was crazy it was absolutely crazy so alkaline water popping as usual yes this is how I eat my cherry broccoli soup I love Panera Bread uh cherry broccoli soup I know I'm not the only one because they sell it in stores so clearly other people have been checking for it so today I'm going to put on my brace with y'all about this Mueller Sports Medicine brace. If anybody going through what I'm going through, um, y'all know how to put the brace on. When I tell y'all for the last like week, my wrist has been killing me and it's my right hand. This is the hand I write with. This is the hand I draw with. Not draw with. This is the hand I drive with. This is the hand that I do everything with. This is like my dominant hand when I'm typing. My um dominant hand when I'm doing my nails. Like I hold the I hold the nail in this hand and then I'll put, you know, do the designs and everything with my right hand. So it has really it's been a struggle, especially when I have to like turn the wheel of the car and stuff like that. It's been crazy. I've been sleeping with my wrist propped up and everything. So I was talking to my mom about it and she's like, yeah, it really sounds like it's carpal tunnel. I don't feel like it's sprained, but it definitely feels like it's carpal tunnel. Today, me and my son are supposed to do um, skating lessons because I haven't skated since I was just younger. And he just had a skating party and for at his school. And I felt so bad because I couldn't help him skate because I was like, I ain't, we both ain't fit to be falling. But now I'm like... We are. We both going to be out there falling, but I didn't want to take the chance of falling on my wrist um, because it's my right hand. So that would be the hand that I would actually put my weight on if I was falling. So I'm like, I don't want to take the chances. So he was like, um, I want to go today, but I would rather wait until your um, wrist is healed. Y'all, when I tell you this, my fro, my fro is froing. My fro is froing, y'all. So this food is still fairly hot. So I'm going to eat for a little bit and then I'm going to be back with y'all. We'll do the, the brace and then we'll see what else. We'll see what else. Happy October 1st. <laughs> Hey y'all, so real quick, I am actually going through the process right now of getting a root canal retreatment. I tell you, it's not as bad, it's not half as bad as the initial root canal, but they got me on antibiotics. So anybody who's going through root canal retreatment or going through or just got a root canal, take your antibiotics, because why would you not? Take, take your antibiotics. Yeah, I just wanted to do a little... A disclaimer to take your antibiotics because you don't want no infection up in there too especially if your insurance acted funky and they like so how much y'all want us to pay hey y'all so i'm back food was delicious delicious so my hair looked i like my hair back there but now i've been sweating <sighs> So I'm gonna put it up so that I could be feel more comfortable filming. 
when I tell y'all this, oh, just the whole, like, even trying to be able to rotate my hand, my wrist, is a chore. So, y'all, I got... Fuck. Fuck. Okay. I got a lot of. I got a lot of cool. Blocktober ideas. What does that look like? Cause I got my glasses on. Okay. I got a lot of cool Blocktober ideas that I just got off of YouTube. Oh fuck. I know I. Nope. So if it's anybody who. Elsa is doing for October, and you are kind of my bad, y'all. I probably should have did the brace before this, but I need to feel comfortable when I see myself in the camera in order to feel comfortable with y'all seeing me in the camera. If you know, you know. So, if anybody is thinking about trying to figure out Blocktober ideas and you just really don't know. And you really just don't know what to do. I would recommend looking up on YouTube about it. Because it's a, it's a lot of people who made videos with a lot of good ideas. Some of them have like a something you could do for every day. And then some of them have stuff where you can just kind of get the idea. And then make it your own. So I would recommend that. Because... As y'all may know or may not know, this is my first time doing Vlogtober. So, I don't really know. I feel better with it. I really like my fro, y'all. Like, I've been doing braids and stuff like that. I really want to be able to do, like, a nice little ponytail. My gray is grand. I saw my gray hair said, you know what? Why wait? It started kicking up in my 20s. And it said, it's why wait? What are we waiting on? What, 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 what are we waiting for? So now, as years have passed, the gray is grand. And it's, it's gone gray. I'm hot, y'all. I'm hot. Y'all know I don't normally be in clothes. I'm hot. My under boobs is sweating. If you know, you know. So now let's go ahead and put this brace on so that I can be more comfortable doing the things that I need to do or that I want to do with y'all. So let's let's get this brace on. Again, this is the Mueller Sports Medicine Brace. I got this from Walgreens and it was $23.99, I believe. And they have it for um the support level is maximum. And this is for the right. Some of them have it for it's like universal, like you could put it on the left or the right wrist. But this one is specifically for the right. So let's let's get it. Let's do it. Come on. So this this is what it looks like when it's on to so just slip your hand through it. I don't know why I thought you had to like put it together. I think because like they had this picture on it, but it's already put together. So I did it as tight as possible without it being like uncomfortable, not feeling like I'm gonna cut my circulation off or nothing like that. This helps to mobilize your hand and basically keep it from keep your wrist from like really moving so that everything that needs to heal can heal this part is hard and this part is hard and then it's green i love green y'all y'all know that so yeah so i'm gonna have this on i probably am gonna do like a wrap underneath it because you know i'm still dealing with that with the eczema that's on my hand from the black soap y'all i don't 
I, I can't do much with when I with eczema. I can't do much. I gotta I gotta keep it real cute or it flare up on me. So I'm still dealing with this on my hand. I have four now. I just got one with a little spot, so I'm doing good. So yeah, so this is this. So now I want to uh, hook up my wireless mouse. Hey guys, so I'm gonna be hooking up my Logitech wireless mouse with my keep my uh, laptop. Now I also have a wireless Logitech keyboard, and what I will say is, so you need these little like. USB pieces to hook into your um, device so that it can sync up. When I had my Logitech wireless mouse and my Logitech keyboard hooked up together, they would basically like bump heads. So it'd be a situation where like if I'm using the keyboard, the mouse would do weird stuff. So like if I'm using the if I'm using the keyboard, like the mouse would just like continuously make it a uh, scroll. One moment. Come in. You want to uh no. Okay. Is Aiden on the game? He in his room, so I suppose so. Okay. So I'll see y'all when y'all get back. If you see any uh kid coats, let me know. Especially if you see that ombre coat. So I think that spice is orange, but I think we kinda figured that out. Okay, thank you. See y'all when y'all get back. So when I had these um hooked up it was crazy interference. So like I would get like continuous scrolling with the mouse when I wasn't even using the mouse. So like if I'm on the internet, the page would just scroll like all the way up to the top. It was crazy and it was very um, difficult to use together to the point as to where I would have to cut my mouse off to use my keyboard and then cut the keyboard off to use the mouse. So because of that, I really feel some type of way about recommending the Logitech wireless device. Now, I don't know how they are now. I bought this a little while ago but um yeah it gave me problems so each one came with like these little usb thingies and the way that they have them now is like you can use one and it'll sync it both it'll sync it up with both um instead of having like one separate one for each one but even when i synced them up with both and i had them separately i still got that same type of interference i don't know if anybody else had that issue with their logitech wireless devices kind of um clashing together i didn't like it so now we're just gonna now we're only doing the the wireless mouse so that I will be able to use the computer a little bit better because this button is harder and this mouse is oh, this mouse is going to be easier to use so we're definitely going to be using this one so we're going to start with this one um I it should sync up with the phone like I should get like a, a message on the phone and then I will be able to sync it up to the computer or something like that so yeah let's let's do it using that yet so the first thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna plug in the usb it, do, it doesn't matter i guess once you sync them up on the logitech app because you can pair them and put them together on the logitech app i've already done that before so they're already synced up and so you're just gonna push it in make sure if your mouse was off turn it back on the green light is gonna pop up but when it gets to syncing sometimes the light will um the light will go off so we're gonna go here, we're gonna go to our Bluetooth device list, and then we're gonna go to more Bluetooth settings. We're gonna go to add device, and as you can see, the light has gone off, but it's okay. So you don't need to like turn it off or turn it back on again. So we're gonna click Bluetooth. And this might pop up with the Logitech name or it might pop up as unknown device. For me, if I don't know which one it is, I'll just click one. I know it's not this one, so I'll just click this one to see what's going on so my phone lit up so i open the phone and it's asking me do i want to pair so i'm gonna go ahead and click pair it's bluetooth pairing request so i'm gonna click pair and then i'm gonna click connect now i'm like So now I'm like, the mouse works now, as you can see. So now I could just use the mouse. The light is still off, but I could use it. It's okay, it doesn't matter. So I can use this mouse, so as you can see, like I can click off, I can go to the internet, I can open my notes. I can do everything that I would normally do with the mouse pad with this, with the, um, with the mouse.
So I'm very, very happy with this because now I know that I can still use my computer and do the things that I need to do, especially when it comes to editing and stuff like that, and still take care of my wrist. I did end up doing like a little wrap. Y'all know I'm in a garden suite. I don't know why my son is up there uh, tap dancing, but it's okay. So, um, yeah, so I'm going to edit this video. So this is my Vlogtober day one video, and I'll be coming to y'all again tomorrow. We're going we, to figure out what we're going to do together. This this is gonna be interesting. This is my very first Vlogtober and I'm excited about it. So yeah.